one of the largest is Manyata Embassy Business Park. Hmm. And then here, yes. And Wipro. Wipro, which branch? Electronic City Limited. Wipro Limited Electronic City. Electronic City. Do they have another SEZ unit in Sarjapur? Uh, address to be exact will be Dodana Kanehali. I don't think the um, Sajapur one is a SEC unit. Any other big company that you'll know of? In Infosys, uh, Shri Vishnu Ashni, which branch of Infosys? Infosys is a Mysore branch, Hebbal Industrial Area, District Mysore, Karnataka. Okay, that's the Mysore uh, one. Uh, but the Infosys in Bangalore is not there. That's not an SEC unit. No, there is one. Information, it's, it's different. It's not Infosys. Uh, one second. Um, the one that you're talking about is Information Technology. That's ITPL. That's in white. That's in white. HAL, uh, HAL area, no, does not come under uh, SEC. Okay, another big company that has got um, uh, this one is Biocon Limited, which is one second. Biocon Limited, uh, the one that is there on. Um, Anikal Taluk, that's the electronic city uh, that border is Biocon. So Biocon is also an SCC unit. Okay. Okay, so what is, uh, since you are looked up at SECs, uh, what, what is an SEC unit? It is a special economic zone that is geographical region that has economic law that are more liberal than a country's domestic economic laws. Okay. Uh, when you say country's, econom uh, country's domestic economic laws, what are you, uh, when, I mean, what type of benefits do you get? Uh, tax free. Tax free? Yes. yes yes uh what 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 specific taxes um something more specific some some other tax customs so it's easy unit uh it's a duty-free uh, area and in customs also you get um, as in you don't have to pay any customs for uh, an SEC unit. So moving ahead, uh, let's start. An SEC is a specifically defined duty-free enclave and shall be deemed to be a foreign territory for any purpose of trade operations and duty uh, duties and tariff. So basically... Um, it is a duty free. It is considered to be an foreign territory. It is not considered to be an Indian territory for all business operations. Um, so basically, your GST, your customs, mainly customs, because that's when um, the articles come into the country and we export or import and export happens to an SEC unit. So mostly customs is where it is uh, excluded. So when we look at the salient features of the Act, matters relating to SEZ and for setting up of units therein, including requirements, obligations and entitlements. So we are looking at what is the requirement of this particular Act. So anything relating to SEZ for setting up of an SEZ unit, we will see how setting up of an SEZ unit is. Uh, any, you know, obligations, entitlement, how it has to be done, all that is done by the uh, the particular regulation. Now, if you look at the regulation, one second, let me open the...
let me open the can anybody uh, just tell me what regulation uh, is covering for the cc 